When the Peterson Bridge suffered critical structural damage from an unexpected storm surge, city officials knew they had just 12 hours before morning rush hour would bring 50,000 commuters to a standstill. Chief Engineer Marcus Thompson immediately assembled a team of 30 specialists, knowing they faced what many considered an impossible deadline. Structural integrity tests revealed that three main support columns had been compromised, requiring immediate reinforcement before the weight of rush hour traffic could potentially trigger a catastrophic failure. With the temperature dropping to near freezing and winds whipping across the exposed bridge deck, the team split into specialized units to tackle multiple repair zones simultaneously. The innovative use of rapid setting polymer reinforced concrete a material that typically costs five times more than standard materials, was authorized as the only solution that could possibly cure within the tight time frame. By 4 aiming with no margin for error, specialized sensors were embedded throughout the repair zones to provide real-time monitoring of the concrete's curing process and structural integrity. The team worked through waves of exhaustion, fueled by nothing more than coffee, determination, in the knowledge that thousands of families depended on this bridge to reach hospitals, schools, and workplaces. At 5.30 a.m., with just 30 minutes before the morning rush would begin, final stress tests confirmed the repairs had exceeded safety requirements, allowing officials to reopen all lanes of traffic. As the first wave of commuters crossed the bridge, few realized they were traveling over a section that had been completely rebuilt just hours earlier a testament to the unseen heroes who keep our infrastructure safe. This emergency repair, completed in just under 12 hours, would normally have taken weeks of planned construction, a remarkable achievement that later earned the team a National Engineering Excellence Award.